Okay, start with station of Umul Kitab Al-Fatihah. Okay, uh, so this our last session uh, before you go for your Masub Open uh, 2021 which is on 30 uh, October which is next week uh, Saturday, uh, less than 7 days from now and on this Wednesday you have this uh, friendly match with uh, Sekolah Taman University, Sekolah Kebangsaan Taman University so uh, I, I have been told that uh, you will be play on the lead chess so all the data, all the games, uh, I will take and uh, look lah. So uh, later, Mio and whoever here, uh, please inform me the detail about the the the, the, lah, the the tournament, the friendly match. Because playing with your friend is one thing, but playing with other person that you never know is another thing. So hopefully, uh, you will keep uh, make, uh, you will sort of like can uh, ni lah, can uh, perform during this friendly match so uh, i believe there are like uh, many i mean uh, up to now there are around like 11 12 12 players will play on wednesday i don't know uh, if the play the, if everybody will play if all 24 players here will play or only half of it will play but those who play uh, please uh, Please uh, view that uh, friendly match as your final training lah, final training for the Masum Open 2021. Uh, because I believe this will be, might be the last Masum Open 2021, might be the last time that uh, you are uh, sent for online. Later on, uh, probably it will be physical again. Okay. So let's me pin myself first. Okay, let's start our last session today by looking at your schedule. So today is 24 October. It's our last coaching. Uh, it will be one hour only until 10 10.15 only. Um, and then on Friday, uh, this coming Friday will be maybe just half an hour only for this uh, final briefing with the SDC, with the what we call with the uh, brother Lutfi and so on. I will ask Brother Lutfi to come and uh, give some final talk before you play on the Saturday. So this Saturday, please make sure you spend the whole day eh, because it's a whole day event. Make sure your internet is good uh, and also uh, please play well lah, because you are sponsored by SDC. Even though the sponsor is not too much but still it's money. So you are bringing uh, the IUM uh, name for going by playing on the Masum <coughs> 2021 and SDC, the Sport Development Complex, won the, uh, the report from that. So it's not just uh, this coming Saturday, it's not just you play for fun, it's really uh, the Sport Complex will generate a report from that. Okay, so... Uh, those who are not talking, please uh, mute your what we call mute your mic so that there are no echo during uh, my recording. So if you have any question, then you can uh, ask lah. Uh, for example, Hafizullah, uh, please mute your mic if you are not uh, talking, and so on lah. Okay, so now let's straight go to this first game link. So I still cannot generate your what we call your leading leader table leaderboard for the chess uh, league because some of you, for example here and here, not yet uh, played. You are not uh, yet finished the game. So if there are one person uh, not uh, what we call don't don't uh, finish the thing until round. 20 i think now is around 23 around 20 so you see there are a lot more still not uh, finished playing so i cannot generate the uh, the leader table so please make sure before friday okay so your game your league will finish on wednesday so before not before friday before by thursday night thursday before midnight please uh, finish it so that I can generate the table so that during your what we call during our last meeting I can sort of like give this uh, leak result if not I will not be able to do that okay 
So uh, hopefully everybody can finish everything by Thursday night. Okay. Okay. So that's about the thing lah. Okay. Let's go to the chest itself now. Let's go here. Okay. Mm, how to start? Let's start about this. Okay. Okay. So in the previous coaching, we talked about the typical blunder that happened during the uh, game. Uh, we are focusing on blunder this time because this is a short game, 15 minute game. So I think most of your win or lose is because of blunder, not really much about positional and so on. There are some uh, player will play uh, very good and uh, win against positional. But most of the game that I saw from the league uh, here, the chess league, which is 15 minute, uh, not here but this is the old one so this one so the one that currently you play is this uh, Masum Open 2021 League 15 minute plus 5 second which is the same uh, time control that you will play during the uh, Masum Open so from this I can see that almost I mean 90% of the time the game is lost or won because a blunder not because of really uh interesting tactic or positional and so on it's more about blunder that's why this time i focus on the blunder last week we talked about what last week we talked about the blunder the common blunder because of the queen queen go to the a5 and queen go to the h5 let me open this thing so last week we learned about uh, the blunder associated with this and also with this right uh, and also this uh, blunder normally when queen to go, go to, to a4 check normally there are something hanging and then you can take lah so that is a uh, common blunder lah and also the queen can also go to here go to here and also this queen can also go to here you can see when you go to the h file the queen go to the middle past the middle of the board uh, same with the black uh, when the queen goes to the what we call to the uh, h4 is past the middle of the board so normally when you go when you bring your queen to the h4 normally it's about attacking and uh, checkmating lah okay so this is what we learned uh, last uh, session and also we learned also about the greek gift eh? the greek gift uh, how the, the standard greek gift attack when you have the knight the knight go here and then the bishop here and the bishop check here the knight go to uh, what you call to the g5 and then the queen the queen go to here and what we call and mat so so that's about great gift you need the knight you need the bishop you need the queen in order to play the great gift so that's uh we just recap what we learned uh, last two week before uh, but before we further on with uh, we continue with uh, another typical blunder during the game let's look a little bit about the great gift that happened during your game eh? uh, i show you the concept of great gift uh, last time and i also show you one of my game one of my game lah uh, but now i want to see whether is there is any great gift in your game so for that uh, i will filter from this so this is the game uh, there are 600 game starting as i said before starting from the masum 2020 last year until today until the league uh, nowadays lah, uh, this uh, current league that you take so in order to do that i control f and then i already uh, explained to you a little bit how to use maneuver before uh, so a uh, great gift basically start by bishop take to the h8 so we go to bishop take, take to the h7 and then you check you check okay so bishop go to h7 check and then uh, the, the next move uh, is basically uh, let's go the next move uh, insert new the next move uh, the king take the s7 okay the king take take not, not check eh? king take s7 so king take s7 so uh, and then we mirror the horizontal so we go and find this thing is there any game from your games uh, from this six, 600 games is there any great gift happen okay so let's go here and then we just go okay 
Okay, so you can see there are few uh, games that uh, have this uh, sort of like grid gift uh, pattern lah. But we need to look uh, in detail lah. Uh, okay, let's see here. So let me make it bigger here. So let me, I put myself here. So just look at this thing. So that's bigger. Cool. So <coughs> you can see right. Okay, so let's see the first, uh, not the first lah, I will just go to this Jig uh, <coughs> Hafiz. Eh? Is this a good gift? So, yes, you have this uh, bishop to take to the S7. And then you take, but this is not great gift because this is basically you just uh, take on the S7. And you take this, uh, what we call discover for this, oh, I, I cannot make a uh, color here, but it's okay. So, this is not considered as great gift because you just take a free pawn. And then you take the black, take the bishop, and then you get the what we call the knight. So this is not considered as great gift. So let's go to the second one. Second one here is what? Second one is Hafizullah, uh, Hafizuddin. So you take, you check, you take uh, the bishop take on the x2. So this from the black perspective. This also not considered as great gift because this just uh, you take on the f7 because you get this uh, rook on the f1 so we not consider this as a great gift just a simple tactic lah simple uh, deflection tactic we call this deflection because uh, now the king uh, take care of this rook but now you deflect the king and then you get the what we call the rook so that's not considered as a great gift so here Hafiz Jamil uh, Faiz and Hafiz Jamil so as you can see here this more or less like a great gift because uh, one thing uh, in order to differentiate whether one thing is great gift or not you need to see whether there is force force uh, win or not great gift normally they are no force win for great gift uh, as we mentioned before uh, white or black when when he sacrificed when he or she sacrificed the bishop normally it's not clear cut win uh, the one that perform the great gift normally have this advantage in uh, initiative and so on but not no direct win lah no direct win so that's one of the uh, what we call the idea behind great gift you do great gift not because you can find a immediate map it because of the position is so strong that the what we call the the your opponent cannot really uh, doing well cannot cope well and at the end it will uh, nila it will uh, loss and so on so if you look here this kind of a great gift okay you can check there if you look here there are no immediate win yet i mean is there are no like uh, immediate checkmate and so on if you look here the the game by faiz and hafiz you see and now is move 15 Okay, move 15. But the game goes on until move 88. Okay, 15 to 88. That's a long, long game. So, just to show you that when you want to play great gift, you need to bear in mind. When you want to sacrifice, uh, forget about great gift. When you want to sacrifice something, if that sacrifice doesn't land any checkmate or any, uh, what we call, it, you don't get any, any material back, so you need to really really calculate well okay because you are playing when you do sacrifice most or most often than not you are giving away the material and you are sort of like playing against time you are using your advantage in time in initiative to sort of like uh, to do some damage in your opponent uh, camp so you need to be to be like playing dynamically you cannot play statically meaning that you cannot play just slow you need to play energetically in order to justify your sacrifice for example here white already sacrificed a bishop okay so you got you lost one bishop for a pump okay so white attack so here normally the problem is that how to continue the attack in the game uh, if you look Faiz continue by taking on the uh, what we call on the f7 okay rook take and then you go like this okay do like this and then you have this thing what we call the 
what we call uh, the, the 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 Hafiz have this NF6. Okay, even though you take this King F8, then they are sort of like they are no checkmate. Remember, you get the here. If you look here, uh, Black lost his uh, rook, his rook, eh? but his position is still okay. If you count the the piece, you have this uh, white have one, two, two rook, and then one, two, two minor piece. While black have one rook, but four minor piece. In this case, black is uh, materially speaking, black is uh, is the one that is more advantage lah, because a uh, two piece, you have bishop and knight is better than the rook. Okay, bishop and knight. Is better than the rook. Uh, that's why, uh, even though uh, white seems like getting the rook, but remember here, white already uh, giving a bishop now, one bishop, and then now giving the so giving the knight. So you only white already giving two thing for a rook. Okay, two thing for a rook. Okay, so. Uh, normally, uh, giving two piece for the rook is not considered as uh, nila. Uh, those who are giving two piece is normally is uh, not not really nila, not really do well lah. Because two piece is better than one piece, regardless you have rook or what. Okay, so that's why the game goes on until uh, move uh, eighty eight. Uh, here, in order to continue the attack, it's much better for white to play this. Okay, uh, it's much better for white to play uh, king g8 to play this thing straight away. And then at least now you have this checkmate attack, checkmate uh, mating attack lah. Because if you take here, then at least one of this, one of this will be uh, lost. Okay, if you do like this and then you get checkmate. Okay. If you sort of like, uh, if you, for example, if let's say uh, this move, then you 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 get nila much easier lah. You you the pound, you get this and this, and then you you have you you are more. I mean that the position for white king is more more easy to play lah. I mean it's much easier for white to play. Okay. Because you can go here and then go here. You can go the bishop here, go to bishop here, and so on. Okay, it's much more easier for black to play because you can see this, uh, this what we call this uh, bishop. This rook is a sort of like a cramp yet. If you play as in the game, it's a different. Eh? If you see in the game, it's a little bit different. So I can move this. Okay, so you can see here. So here is a little bit different because the knight here is already coming out, okay, already coming out, and this bishop can come out and so on. So even if you check like this, you can just take here, and now the difference within the game, this king is much better here, and the knight is much better uh, here on f6, and black is only one move away from uh, playing bishop d7. Uh, uh, opening the line for the rook and finishing his development so that's why uh, in this move this is much better because if you take then uh, you are at least getting checkmate or if you go like this you sort of like uh, this bishop is sort of like uh, what we call uh, off off site here okay because this knight also cannot have anywhere to go if you go to back here, it's not really what we call not really doing a lot. So that's the idea lah from this. Okay, so that's kind of the great gift uh, by Faiz. So let's go to next game, Faiz and Kroto Ain. Okay, so here you take, okay, so Bishop take, uh, so here Bishop H4, C5. And then uh, Faiz play Bishop uh, takes s7 again the, the great gift. So King s7 and then Queen this thing and then King g8. 
Okay, and then you need to have the knight lah. For example, normally for the Greek gift to be uh, effective, you need the knight on the g5. So nf3. So and then f6, f6 here. Uh, no, here uh, if you play g6 here, and then queen go here, and I mean you can just continue again like this. Still, the knight will go to g5 and do all this sort of stuff lah. So f6. And then you have this thing, and all this thing is uh, typical lah, because now you have this h pound, and if you take the knight, and then you can have this what we call the the line here, and it's just a matter of time when uh, black will be uh, lost lah. And you see, and this typical lah to close the es escape square for the king, and you have this checkmate lah. Because you have this uh, rook, uh, queen is uh, protected by the uh, rook, queen protected by the rook on the h1. Okay, <coughs> so the rest is not a great gift. So if you look here, this is not great gift because there are no queen. So we don't consider this as a great gift. Here, Faiz and Aisha, this also not a great gift. We can say it's a kind of great gift, but yeah, it's kind of great gift, but. Here, if you look, if you sort of like, uh, yeah, we can say kind of great gift lah. But this is not great gift because you need to understand eh, here. You, if you look here, white have one, two, three, three, what we call three, um, three minor piece uh, while black is already two so black must make sure uh, his sacrifice her sacrifice is justified in this game in this uh, position Aisha which is black uh, much better for her to go back here lah go to the e7 although it's uh, like passive but that's the only way lah to save the bishop because if you take this uh, you need to understand that uh, now you are giving the full piece for a pound so you need to justify that giving that is uh, have a full compensation but when you go check like this there are no no sort of like no we call it no follow up black has not enough follow up because if you have only queen only and the knight here is not really doing anything much and there are no open file so it's very difficult to justify the the sacrifice here because there are no follow up you cannot follow up here and then you have the even though you have the g5 g5 here then it doesn't really do anything because it's not really do much lah uh, white can just win using his extra piece so this is where the it's not great gift at all because it just lost a piece Okay, a piece for a pound because there are no follow up so in order for you to do great gift you need to make sure you have this strong follow up and then lastly Faiz Ayuni so you can see here Faiz Faiz always uh, get this great gift eh? so check but this is not a great gift lah this is just simple tactic only check take and then you have this uh, another you take this uh, knight for free lah not for free. I mean that you get uh, the knight and pound for the bishop. So this is not considered great gift. But the idea is, uh, ni lah. The idea is deflection. You deflect the king to the s7, and then you get the uh, knight back or uh, by putting the queen on the d6. Okay, uh, that's a great gift. So you can see uh, whatever we learned in the last session about great gift, they happen again and again again and again even though it's not Greek this is not Greek gift the idea of Greek gift is there so I want to talk a little bit about the Faiz Kroto Ain game eh? let's uh, make it big and let's see this thing eh? if you look here on the bottom here can you see right uh, let me move my self here if you see I want to show something about how to use the computer eh? how to use the computer here if you look here at the bottom is the evaluation pane uh, evaluation panel if let's say the bar is on the top then white is winning not white is winning meaning that white has the advantage 
if the bar is bottom so you have this let me make it bigger how to make it bigger i don't know how to make it bigger yeah i don't know how to yeah cannot make it bigger but at least i hope that you can see so if the the bar is bottom then uh the what we call the the black is better lah so if you look here at the bishop time take f7 if you see the game faiz win this game but if you see in the computer analysis here you can see here and evolution panel <coughs> you can see as if this you can see this uh the, the what we call the triangle here this is a move 11 if i move back so you can see that that thing is move back right move back move back move back move back if i go in front you see the triangle move in front and goes goes there. and when faiz play bishop time s7 it seems like faiz make a mistake there because now the computer evolution said that the black suddenly the bar for the black suddenly goes down meaning that black is have advantage so from the computer point of view this might be and uh, this is from this lah from this evolution panel it says that this bishop takes s7 is wrong but is it true okay so that's why uh the greek gift is not uh sort of like what we call uh direct matic attack it's just initiative but we want to study here is it is this bishop time s7 is really bad or really wrong uh, what we call based on uh, really wrong or really sort of like blunder for white so we need to understand a little bit about this uh, evolution panel this evolution panel if you have uh, if you have this chess base or whatsoever this evolution panel okay is not using stockfish eh? it's using the one core processor they, 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 this is instant analysis okay they use one core processor and they sort of like analyze one uh, move per second for example eh, if i change this thing let's say i do here for example i want to change this i want to sort of like uh, instant analysis eh? okay normally this evolution panel they do it uh, automatically uh, and at move 17 here this move move 11 move 11 here it seems that the black have some uh, advantage right black goes down so black is advantage so let's go let's go to instant analysis instead of giving one second okay let me do one second eh? one second let me see okay so as you can see here i maintain the what we call the the triangle here this is move 11 eh? move 11 move 11 where the bishop take x7 so now i do instant analysis using one second per move meaning that the computer will calculate uh, per move one second so you can see if you allow computer one second per move on move 11 you can see it's detect that white make a blunder okay so already finished 17 okay so that is for one second so at move 11 bishop type s7 here is a blunder but if i move it to instant analysis two second i increase second per move mean that uh, we give a uh, computer time to analyze two second per move so let's do again so the triangle i still maintain here on the move 11 so it's move now but now it take like two second per move we want to see whether is there any change in analysis okay so this is a two second uh, per move so every move the computer will evaluate for two second so this evolution panel is basically they use one core processor eh? one core processor okay you can see here okay so you can see just adding one second extra the evolution change so this shows what this shows that if you want to analyze the game using the computer you need to have a very strong uh, a good processor lah. Uh, and also giving time you cannot just uh, do like uh, one second and get the result okay so this they use this what we call for this they use uh, uh, one single core processor but nowadays 
uh, people use uh, stockfish and so on. So it's much more powerful lah. For this, they just use a typical default engine lah, not not stockfish. But if you use stockfish, for example, I add stockfish, add stockfish here there, and then if I go to the move eleven straight away, and I click OK. Okay, by doing a four CPU, so straight away you can get this uh, plus minus uh, plus minus uh, zero point nine one. If you, I hope you can see lah here at the bottom here. So it is mentioned that for example, after C five, uh, the bishop. Okay, let me make it up here. Okay, so you can see here, the bishop takes F seven is one of the the first choice for the computer. Bishop take take a seven is the first choice for the computer. Previously, uh, the computer is not so strong like this. Previously, it takes time for the computer to find uh, bishop type a seven. But stockfish because the uh, because inside this engine they have this evolution. Uh, they 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 program in such a way that they can find the 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 best move uh, very fast. So nowadays, even though you give one second, if you have stockfish, then uh, mostly you can give a good uh, result straight away, but if the comp this position is not so complicated, but they are <coughs> there are certain uh, position that are so complicated that you need to give uh, what we call time for the computer to evaluate in order to reach the good conclusion. So uh, that's about the stockfish. So you can see here now it's change, uh, plus minus. Now you can get this already winning advantage. Plus minus one point six two. As if now, what have if what play bishop take s seven? As if what have this one point six pound extra. So that's what does it mean here? So this is the first choice for the computer. So that's why uh, when Faiz play this, this is good. Get this good move lah. Okay. So you take and then queen h five. You can see here the the computer evolution down here. Queen g eight and then now n f three. Okay, also the first choice for the computer because you need to bring up the 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 your resource in order to win, in order to sort of continue the follow up for the what we call for the great grief attack. So N F three and then F six and then now N G five. So all this uh, the first line for the computer N G five here. Okay, and then you have this checkmate lah here checkmate here. So if you take here and then you have also the checkmate either here or here by uh, moving this thing first lah in order to close the uh, escape square for the queen king. Okay, so that's how to use the what we call computer to analyze your game. Eh? Uh, even if you don't have this chess base, you can use in the lead chess. Eh? For example, this game Faiz and Kurato Ain. Uh, which one? This is uh, round eleven, uh, Masum twenty twenty one. Okay, let's go to this. Okay, Faiz. So I think this is uh this is Masum twenty twenty one. So we go to game link. So it's around eleven. So we go to round eleven, uh, round eleven. Faiz Kroto Ain. So we look that. That's also the beauty of having this thing uh recorded, so that you can uh refer again and again later on. So all this thing Masum open the one that I show you. <coughs> Maybe for now you think that there are a lot of things to do, but in the future this uh, will be help you. Uh, by the end of this, uh, what we call this coaching, I will show you how you can find the pattern from your game, eh? uh, using all the game that you played. But let's do this first. Eh? Okay, so this is the same game uh, played by uh, what we call the, the the same game that we we see before where uh, Faiz did this uh, great gift over there. Bishop take a seven. So even though if you if you don't have this what we call the the chess base, you can use the chess to do all the analysis. You just click on this computer analysis, and even here in computer analysis, you have this bar, this evaluation panel. So you can see sort of like this. Uh, we can see here everything is on the white. Uh, this is a middle here, and then everything is on the white favor, meaning that the game is very one sided. Okay, the game is very one-sided, so we can say that uh, as if like Kur, Kur here doesn't really give any uh, what you call any challenge to Faiz lah in this game. But the question here is Faiz game is really quality here. 
So in order to see the quality of the game, you need to see something we call centi pound here. So you can see centi pound here. You see centi pound here. So of course here, uh, Faiz said it zero in accuracy, zero mistake, zero blunder. But in terms of the quality, you look on this average centi pound loss. Okay, centi pound meaning that one over hundred pound lah. Centi pound. As you have one pound, you divide by hundred. Okay. So the idea is this. Um, the, the detail, the technical is other, other thing lah. But the idea is this. The lower is the number here. The lower is the number of your centi pound. The higher the quality of your game. Regardless whether you have the inaccuracy, mistake or blunder. Even though you have the zero inaccuracy, zero mistake, zero blunder. But if your centi pound uh, if is high, then it's we can say it's not quality lah. Maybe it's not the best move or whatsoever. Uh, so normally, uh, the high quality game normally uh, around uh, 20 and below lah. Okay. If you play game, uh, if you see Carlson game, normally is around 10 and below. 10 and below or 20 and below lah. 24 is still okay. Still good. Still good lah. And if you see, if you compare with the core, centi pound is 83. Meaning that the nearer the 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 number to the hundred, the less quality that the game that you play lah. Okay, <coughs> so here stockfish using what stockfish uh, uh stockfish block. Licha they use stockfish eh? stockfish fourteen, uh with N N U E N N U E ni is neural network lah neural network uh neural network apa eh? neural network efficiently update neural network something like that lah. So this, uh, so if I, yeah, efficiently updatable neural network using four times smaller net by white world. So this basically, uh, this more technical lah. Uh, but the idea is that uh, you are using the 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 stockfish, the the engine from the cloud. But that stockfish is not the same as the stockfish that you put in this. It's not the same stockfish that you put if you add Kibitzer in your own uh, program. Because when you use this, when you try to play the stockfish from the chess base or whatever you put in locally in your computer like this, if you click OK, this stockfish here, they are like a uh, uh, hundred percent. Uh, we can say hundred percent strength lah. But here, when you go to Lee Chess, the stockfish engine that they use is not hundred percent strength. It's just like uh, 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 it's still strong. But it's not same as the one that if you put in the locally in your computer because remember this is in the cloud. Everybody use the their their when people play with the leeches and they click the what we call this computer analysis. This uh stockfish uh what we call the engine will be called again and again. So they are like a lot of burden to that the the cloud to the the engine to to cater all the stake. So the stockfish 14 plus N and UE is basically the uh, it's still stockfish but it's not as strong as the real stockfish lah. But still strong you can get the good evolution and so on. So that's why you can get this almost what we call instantaneously because when you click computer analysis when you finish the game when you click computer analysis the graph will be generated almost instantaneously. Okay. Okay, so that's why you get all this thing. Okay, uh, so wh what you can learn from this is that in order to analyze your game, first, if you want to use computer, you need to give time. So that's one thing. As we can see before, if, uh, for example, as you can see before, if you do this one second, the evolution different than two second evolution. Okay, if you use a normal... Uh, normal engine lah, not stockfish or whatever, you need to be take care for that. But if you use stockfish, uh, then normally it doesn't really matter lah, one minute, one second, two second, unless the position is so difficult, so a lot of imbalance in the position, then you need to give stockfish a lot more time lah, a lot more time to analyze and so on. That's why uh, if you have a strong computer, if you have good computer, good processor and so on, uh, then uh, the analysis that typically take like one hours can be done in just few minutes only because times 
is money in the chest lah because chest they use uh, uh, processing power in order to calculate all the stuff so the more powerful is your computer the faster you can do your analysis okay so that's about the stockfish and so on and whatever lah okay uh, so that's about computer great gift what happened great gift in your games and about computer analysis and so on so let's see about the second type of the blunder that normally happen during a uh, game lah during your game okay <coughs> the second type of blunder that uh, normally occur in your game is uh, blunder due to miscalculation eh? due to miscalculation previous class we learned about blunder because of oversight LPDO, loose piece drop off. Blunder because of the queen go to the H5 and so on. But today we will learn about the blunder because of the miscalculation. So for that, let's see one game. <coughs> Let me close this thing first uh, because I want to close this thing first. Is N, close to I, no. So let's see a game by <coughs> Iza and Abdul Kadir. Okay. So let me change this thing. Like this, it must be easier to this thing okay let's see this Iza and Abdul Kadir game so there are a lot of drama here okay a lot of drama if you see here let me open this thing first if you see down here down here look here down here you can see there are green red green green yellow green yellow green, green yellow and so on so it's up up down up down up down up down in terms of evolution so when you see something like that uh, you somehow can say that this game there are a lot of drama somebody make a mistake and then the opponent doesn't uh, utilize that mistake and then that somebody uh, also do another mistake and do another mistake and so on so the game is like a drama so this is Iza and Abdul Kadir from the Masum uh, what we call Masum Open 2021 League 15 minutes 15 seconds I mean uh, happened in 7 7 October 2021 so let's go to the game straight to the point of interest so we go here so let me go here first go here okay I, I don't want to talk about the opening so just go straight here okay okay so here now okay so in this position in this position first uh, okay first this is free so just take lah so this when normally when you take this normally when you uh, when when black when black take the knight or whatever when you when bishop take the knight and it deflect the queen from the protection of this eh? so basically the idea of you take the knight is because you want to take the what we call this thing you want to take the uh, so of the the pawn on d4 so this is <coughs> uh, typical lah. so but Abdul Kadir, you play, take this thing. Okay, the idea for this, the idea for this is to introduce the fork. Eh? To introduce the fork. Normally, when you take this thing, when you take with the knight, okay, when you take with the knight, when you take with the knight, the idea is to fork like this. So that's the idea. But this doesn't work. Eh? This doesn't work. Let's go a little bit further. So when you take like this, uh, for uh, maybe Abdul Kadir have this thinking that when you take you can fork but always think first there are uh, white can take with three different way white can take with the knight white can take with the uh, rook white can take with the queen so if the white take with the queen then there are no forks so you just give a free piece straight away so this is the blunder that we don't want to happen during your game eh? So because if you look here, you just give a free pawn because there are no fault because you can just take lah. Because now you have this, you have what we call a three, one, two, three uh, attacker and only one defender. So this one defender, this the only one who defend this uh, pawn. So three to one, so you just three will always win lah. So you just take that and then you just get a free piece for, for free lah. Okay, so that's one mistake lah. First, the mistake is this. Why you don't take this thing? Why you don't take this thing? for? It's free. 
that's real free okay the second mistake is that taking on the e4 is just a blunder because you just the okay but in the game in the game uh white play take on this uh and knight take on this what we call e4 so now uh, abdullah uh, abdul kader can play with this d5 okay and this also that this also doesn't work because you can take here and then you can do like discover here check you get this pawn uh, this what we call this queen for free so always be careful when you want to capture something for example when you want to sort of like capture like this right like this always be careful that the consequence you can really calculate the consequence okay normally uh, this fork this fork people can see this fork people can see normally but what people normally cannot see not normally cannot see mean that this still basic but people overlook this thing this thing the discover check the discover and this thing so be careful about that okay but in the game uh, Izzah doesn't uh, play that Izzah play bishop Izzah play bishop uh, b3 this also not good if let's say you are giving back the piece the best way is not going here the best way is always going here no almost most of the time when you are uh, fork by what we call by this pound you go here back you go here back that's much better lah much better if you want to go back lah but here of course you just take lah okay but most of the time is much if you cannot take much better you go here okay that's much better because you are sort of like uh putting your bishop in the middle okay okay so bishop b3 okay and then you take this thing here also a mistake you, that's why i can say it's a lot of drama here <coughs> you can take okay fine you can take but the better way is that you take with tempo first because this you can always take later but why not you just take this first you take the queen because the this knight is not hanging because this bishop is always uh, protecting this knight so it's not hanging anyway so the if the queen go here still you can take lah you take you can still can take the knight so this is the thing when you want to capture something you need to think first which one to capture uh, first okay because capture with the tempo is much better than capture just like that because this you can always take later but if you take this the queen must be moved first right okay you take with this okay black take with the pound okay so queen take this pawn okay and now black uh, abdul kadir play e6 okay so why not just take this this is free okay so i'm showing this game to show you that the drama that happened here uh a lot of game is like this a lot of your game uh more or less happen like this okay here this is free because you see they are like one two three three piece that attacking this piece and only one piece that is uh protecting that piece so three and then you have one one protector which is the queen then always you can always take for free lah uh, you need to check lah is there any checkmate or whatever but at least here is safe to take and then you take for free but the what we call the what we call the abdul kadir play e6 so you just allowing uh white to play this thing c3 and if white play c3 then this bishop is sort of like hitting the granite now so it cannot it cannot do any much and also this knight also cannot move here or here so because this pawn is so strong in the middle so abdul kadir play d6 but here izah play this d5 d5 which is you should uh, i mean it's much better to do this i mean to block this thing because if you play d5 like this i mean in the game the white play this thing this allow black to sort of like equalize because you just give back for free lah i mean you just you just give you just make it make life easier for black lah because now black have this open file and so on so bishop take d5 and then queen d7 uh, queen d7 also not really lah because it's much better to play rook e8 lah. 
because now the only way to preserve this bishop is to take this to take this uh, on the what we call on d8 so you take this you take this and then you take this and then this equal lah you have the two binary piece the bishop bishop versus bishop versus knight so this equal lah but in the game but in the game uh, uh, black play queen d7 okay maybe uh, black want to sort of like to what we call to double on the d8 okay so queen d3 okay and then uh, rook a d8 rook a d8 okay so now uh, black trying to attacking attack this thing okay attack to this thing but of course here when you have something like this why not you just do like this much easier lah. you 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 get something lah right here by taking this this is not uh near this is not uh discovered because you just can take lah doesn't really matter have nothing ah so you just do like this much easier lah much easier and if you go to queen b3 to protect this thing and then you just take lah you just take and then if let's say you sort of like try to uh, pin the thing and then you just do c6 and then if you try to break the pin and then you just develop okay and then you check check it much better you have this uh one pound for free lah one one extra pound at least you get one extra pound but in the game uh uh black play uh rook uh d8 uh, rook d8 and now uh isa play c3 so as you can see here this pound this uh, bishop is protected by only the queen this but the attacker is the at one two the protector is only one so two and one two always can capture lah if you want to, if you don't know uh, this how to calculate lah if let's say you want to capture something you calculate who, how many is the defender how many is the attacker in this case the defender uh, the defender only one the queen is the one that is defend the bishop who is the attacker they are uh, queen and the uh, what we call the the, the the rook so they are two so always this can be free lah uh, so in this game um, Izzah play c3 so causing this to you can just and so now the 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 Abdul Kadir will just take lah can take lah but in the game Abdul Kadir play this thing knight e5 uh, so yeah why not you just take so even though for some of you this seems like uh, what we call and the game goes on lah the game goes on and still you you you, you take lah you get you take again also but uh, but uh, just to show you that this kind of the game is the one that's normally happen in your league lah the drama i mean uh, you you miss calculate and then your opponent also miss calculate and your opponent also you also you again miss calculate your opponent miss calculate again and so on so this is type of the mistake mistake due blunder due to uh miscalculation happen a lot when you play short game uh short time control like uh, 15 5 second so always uh try not first hanging any pound hanging any piece loose piece drop off secondly when you want to capture something please calculate please calculate very well i mean that how many is the defender how many is the attacker is it safe to attack and also uh, here when you can attack for example here uh, uh, you need to calc for example here so keep calculate that thing so calculate uh, how many uh, the attacker how many the defender and also uh, this is what okay so this don't don't make this uh, mistake lah the, the simple blunder like this okay Okay, so that the uh, simple blunder. So this is uh, what is the common uh, mistake lah. I want to talk a little bit about this. Eh? I want to talk a little bit about uh, about this thing, about where, about this thing, about this thing, this, this fork. This fork uh, commonly happen lah. This fork when you when somebody take when you uh, when you take this is wrong lah. In this uh, game is wrong, but 
this knight take the pound and then knight take again and the fork is common in uh, in the game in a common tactic in the game uh, here is is not is is wrong because uh, black white can just take but more often than not this fork is common so in order to find the game like this so let's go again here so in order to find that game let me go to this uh what we call so this is a pool okay so let go control f okay control f maneuver so uh let's go to knight knight take the e5 take e5 that e5 uh, you take the pound you take the pound you take the pound and then not check and then the second is basically uh, knight knight uh, e5 take the knight knight take the knight knight to the knight and knight to e5 e5 it take the knight okay so knight go to e5 take the knight and then uh, pound to d4 let's say insert new and then pound to d4 to d4 okay Okay, zero and then we mirror the horizontal I want to see is there any game that uh, this what we call this fork happen because this is typical eh? so let's go okay okay you see there are a lot of game also like that eh? and this just now ah yeah this thing this okay okay you can see here so you see Hafizullah and Safidin okay so you can see when the bishop go there you take that thing uh, on this e4 you take and then you have this thing and in this gate in this game here Hafizullah, uh, Hafizullah play bishop b5 as I said going to b3 is the best lah. going to b3 is the best okay because if you take here then you take like that okay and then the bishop is on the middle if you play like this if let's say black play like this it's just sort of like giving the free pawn for example you take this you take this you take this thing and there are no sort of like a pin here because you can just this thing you can just play f4 and there are no like a uh, pawn that can uh, go and attack this uh, knight okay now it's a uh, 10 14 uh, so but not yet finished uh, yeah we will continue a little bit lah. okay we continue a little bit uh, I thought I can finish in one hour but yeah cannot so we will continue a little bit uh, just for those who are interested to see you can just stay if you have anything then you can go lah but uh, at least I want to show you a typical mistake lah typical mistake now okay so uh, you can see so this is the typical lah so that's why when you are fork like this go to d3 most often than not this is uh, working lah but in the game, uh, Hafizullah play bishop b5. If you play like this, you can see eh, Safidin play like this. And now this pawn, this, this knight is attack. Okay, Even though you have this thing, it doesn't really do anything. Because uh, as uh, Safidin play, you can get this thing and so on. So this pawn here in the middle here is quite, is in the center here, is quite uh, sort of like headache for the white. So that's why compare when you go to b3, Bishop D2 is much easier lah. It's much easier. Oh, where is myself? So it's here. It's much easier. Much, it's much easier to play because when you take, then you have this thing. There are no pawn in the going into your position because the pawn here on the fourth rank of the black. So it's not going to the uh, fifth rank of the black. So still easy for white to play lah. So that's the idea. So if you look Huzaifi and Safidin. Safidin, okay. Uh, Great gift, you can see Faiz always the, the game of Faiz. You can see a game of Faiz always crop out. In the this type of uh, not sacrifice is just like a typical fork, typical tactic uh, in the opening. You can see many Safidin game. So it's as if like if you have every game, every of you, every game of you have sort of like certain pattern now. Okay, Faiz have this uh, bishop h5. Safidin have this thing in the opening. So if you try to study your opening game, you can get this uh, pattern and you can avoid all this pitfall, trap and so on. So Huzaifi, Safidin. Huzaifi, uh, Safidin again play like this. And as we can see, uh, so now here, uh, 
Huzaifi play like this. Normally you want to preserve the bishop, okay? Because uh, people say bishop is better than knight. Although the truth is, it depend on the position. But uh, yeah, most of the uh, if you ask me, I much prefer bishop than knight. But it depend on position. You you cannot just say like uh, bishop is better than knight and whatever. Uh, but uh, for most people, bishop is more, more, more. I call more, more useful than that lah. Uh, yeah, but it depends on the position. I cannot just say that lah. Uh, anyway, here, this um, you allowing here the difference is that you cannot get this pound. You just give, uh, you just give a free not a free pound. I mean that, yeah, you just give a free pound lah because you. Lost uh, white only lost one pound right, but you cannot capture this pound right. Uh, compared to before, at least at least here, at least here you take the pound, you get the pound back. So at least, but here in this game, in this uh, Huzaifi and Safidin game, when you go here, then not only you get the center, you you not only make your knight go to the side, you only you also. Uh, cannot regain the pawn again so yeah that's why always when you have something like this more often than not okay not always depend on the position more often than not this work well okay it's equal lah it's not like uh, black is winning or what it's just equal it's just equal lah okay who's I feel suffering again well, this is a different game ah. okay so this okay. same same again like this who's I feel Kena uh, always uh, what we call always uh, fall into the same trap again and again. So that's why it's important for you to study your own game so that you can see the pattern. Because you see here, this is Huzaifi. Huzaifi again with the same opponent. This is a different game. Ah, huh? you see, Masum 2020. This is Chess League uh, 2021. So one year, still the same thing. So that's why if you have a game, if you record your game, you can always use that for study to find the pattern so that you can not do you don't do it again later so see d5 so we see what what Huzafi uh, play now he take so take like this okay so bishop as I said bishop d3 is better huh? bishop is, the move give black, black bishop pair okay when you take like this you give black a bishop pair bishop pair here you see they are bishop they are bishop bishop pair huh? normally bishop pair is advantageous okay and then you go on and so on lah and so on so we don't go detail in the bottom i just want to show you this is typical lah the the uh when somebody take the pound it doesn't mean it give it for free eh? you have this fork so this fork is typical khalid and nuril you can see khalid and nuril uh, and this is in the middle, not not thing. Kuratul Ain. This is in the middle game. This, this, this not. Hafizullah Aiman. This not. Izzah Abdul Kadeh. Uh, this is the one that we see just now. Eh? We see just now uh, the drama Izzah and Abdul Kadeh. So this is wrong. Eh? This you just take. Eh? Just take and then you get the discover check. If black take with the queen. Izzah Safidin. Okay. Izzah Safidin. Eh? Is uh, again Safidin the name is again and again eh? the same guy doing this uh, tactic so yeah so here this thing Bishop B3 as I said uh, this similar to the Hafizullah and Safidin up here eh? Hafizullah and Safidin also same eh? so as I so here this and then here you go like this is much more passive than Hafizullah if you look Hafizullah here if I go to again Hafizullah Safidin Hafizullah Take, eh no. How is I feel Safidin? Okay, take. Eh no, this not. Where is the thing? Eh? Mm, I don't know which one, but it's okay here. Let me see there. Uh, is that Safidin? Okay, take. You go like that. Go to B three. Uh, and then you take. And then now is that play a little bit? Uh, what we call passive here. So, but Safedin play bishop c5. Of course, uh, the best, the easier way is to play bish, uh, queen uh, g5 lah. You can just win straight away. Because now you attacking this, uh, what we call the g2. 
and if you and you can go here then you can say that you can al already have some advantage you sort of like uh, prevent uh, white from get the privilege of castling and yeah so you already winning lah for me it's already winning lah for black here so Safidin even though you get something uh, this bishop c5 is not really what we call you can have this a uh, very strict to the point uh, attacking maneuver is is typical lah when the knight not here is typical maneuver the queen go to g5 if let's say if this thing is not open lah if the pawn is open then of course you cannot do that because the the abbey shop there mio safidin same again same same people same same player safidin 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 so when you play against safidin please uh, be careful about this uh, tactic ah so same uh. So no one up to now, no one play this thing bishop d3, because you need to remember uh, when when uh, now why why play why you not play bishop d3? Maybe some of you think that this bishop is quite what we call is quite uh, passive here. You cannot open this bishop and so on. But if you think logically, when 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 black take on the e5, of course it's already lost one piece. So he need he or she need to regain again that pace so by playing this if you play bishop d3 black will take this anyway because if not then you just lost one piece lah so then you can just okay you this this you can open again and this you can always take this uh, to shatter the what we call the the pawn structure for the black so you can see Again and again, this tactic of uh, forking tactic is happened in the opening lah, in the opening. Uh, so, uh, let's uh, look a little bit about the shortest game, eh? the shortest game that happened. I want to see the shortest game. Okay, uh, for that, I want to see uh, the shortest game. Let's say I go to this, uh, instead of, say I use this Masum League, eh? your Masum League. Eh? Okay, so this Masum League, the one that you played just now, I want to see the shortest game. If you have database, the best thing about database is that you can sort move. You just do, oh, this. Azrin and Kuratoain play 100 gig, 100 move. Benda dia orang main ni. Okay, so it's a long game, eh? a long game, 119 uh, move. At the end, uh, you get checkmate there. But I want to see the shortest game because the shortest game always shows the blunder, eh? The shortest game when you uh, have the database and when you filter it according to the number of move, normally you will uh, sort of like the shortest game always give you uh, the indication of the blunder. So let's go to the shortest game that ever played in the Lee Chess League. So I just click again. So you see the Ayman and Aisha. Okay, let's see the Ayman and Aisha. Huh? Let's see Ayman and Aisha. So okay, let's see Ayman and Aisha game. So this is the shortest game. Huh? only less than 10, 10 move let's see what's the blunder here e4 e5 uh, let me I move here okay so this is the shortest game e4 e5 and so this is petrov uh, so safidin uh, like to play this here's the opening of safidin and e5 and e5 okay normally when you play petrov when you play petrov uh for white uh, this okay but for black, for black typically, what uh, black typically play is this. Eh? Play like this. Because in order to give sort of like uh, extra, uh, what you call, uh, to, to sort of like, to have this extra, extra, extra diagonal open and so on lah. If you take like this straight away, if you take like this straight away, then uh, what we call this is when known lah, when known threat. It's not really trap because it's not like uh, white is winning yet only white is winning if let's say if black play like this and then you get yeah uh, discover check here yeah, the queen and this check and then you win straight away lah but normally this even though uh, queen e2 uh, this is not uh, winning straight away because uh, the way is uh, play this you know, queen e7 lah and then uh, because uh, when you play like this uh, let me open this thing first huh? let me open wait huh? I think I made a mistake here let me open this thing 
Okay, this thing. Okay, so this thing uh, again. Uh, this. <coughs> okay, so this thing. Okay, when you play, uh, when when black play, take this thing. Normally, it's not advisable lah. Normally, uh, black the the play in the Petrov the main line is that uh you sort of like uh do like this and then you go back and then uh and then you take this uh, knight take and then you go like this and then you uh, protect the knight and then you do like this and so on so this is Petrov lah uh normal line in Petrov but in this case uh black take on this and then you have this uh queen e2 so for the queen e2 here um yeah, I mean the, the 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 best way is to play this thing lah. It's not really winning straight away because uh, black have this queen e seven. So if you take this and then you have this thing lah, you have this thing and then you get back lah. You get back, even though you play like this, uh, d four and then you get back lah. You get back like this. Okay, even though uh, it's as if like black have a uh, white have this uh extra pawn for free. I mean, uh, black uh, white have this uh one two three four five six seven pound. And black is what we call one, two, three, four, five, six pound. Black can uh, develop easily lah because you can play like this. Okay, taking take advantage of this pound. And then if let's say the pin, and then you can just do like this. And then after that, you can just what we call just castling. And then the development for the black, even though black is less than pound, but development is much uh, easier for black here lah. So that's the thing. Uh, but in the game, in the game, uh white play this thing instead of queen e2 white play uh d3 d3 so here aisha play nf2 okay aisha play nf2 the mistake here this is uh the mistake lah the mistake but ayman ayman play king take f2 this is basically allowing a uh, black to play this queen h4 okay queen h4 in the game Aisha play bishop c5 which is not ni lah not, not work lah because you can just I might just protect the uh, attacking the bishop and also protecting the the knight okay the best way for Aisha is to play queen h4 as I said the queen to the h file or the a file is often missed by the player this is uh, one example because when you play like this check the king need to go somewhere lah, right the the thing uh, king need to go somewhere if you go here then you get checkmate this checkmate lah. checkmate you already get checkmate there huh checkmate lah. you get checkmate there and if let's say you go like this then you have this check and then you get back the 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 what you call the the knight so always be careful about this thing but still this n take f2 by aisha is wrong only if white play the best move so here the best move is to play this in the game uh i might take take is just draw lah. i mean not draw i mean that it just doesn't have any advantage lah because i have this thing but i shall also don't see <coughs> but the best thing is to play this thing in Petrov, where the line is open here, for example here, line is open, then you can always do a discover check. Okay. So here, if you take this, and then you can win the queen lah. Check, and then you win the, the queen lah. Okay. Uh, so so that's the the thing lah. Okay. So this in the game, uh, in the game, uh, white take, white take, uh, white take, and bishop, check, and then do thing, and winning lah. Queen f6 go here and then this winning lah checkmate lah uh, it's nearly not checkmate but uh, I think I shall resign so if you look here if you look here this knight take the f2 you need to be really careful when you to sacrifice a queen eh, when you want to sacrifice something always be careful lah always calculate here and when you calculate you need to consider two things whether when you sacrifice whether the king take that thing or is there any intermediate move here if the king take it then you can regain back the piece due to this thing due to this uh, maneuver okay so fine 
But remember, when you play chess, sometimes, not sometimes, your opponent is not obliged to take. In this case, your opponent doesn't op not obliged to take. In fact, this is the best move, the winning move. And this is much more dangerous than taking the knight. Because now you have this discover check. So always when you want to calculate, to avoid the blunder, you need to, when you capture something, you need to think two things. Uh, what happened if your opponent take capture back and second and normally this the most common uh, oversight lah what happened if you opponent doesn't capture back meaning that do something intermediate uh, intermediate move like this queen e2 so what will happen okay so in this case when you take this thing the the f2 you need to calculate all these two lah the two, two whether you take or any intermediate move but here is uh, simply wrong lah because of this thing but does it this knight take the f2 is bad uh, that that that's one thing uh, the knight take f2 uh, in petrov there are something called cochrane gambit eh? in petrov there are something that is called cochrane gambit where where they are knight take the f7 but normally for white lah so i just want to show you eh? this is wrong eh? this is wrong this is wrong because the one that i show you but now i want to show you something similar in petrov having this knight take the f7 but uh what we call white is uh but the, the game is different Okay, I will go to the Cochrane first. Eh? Cochrane Gambit. The name is Cochrane Gambit. I will open the thing. Uh, let me open. Okay, so this is Cochrane Gambit. Same thing. The Petrov. You take this. And you take this. Take this. Okay, now. The Cochrane Gambit is this. Knight take F7. Okay. So, we see before when black do this for white... We say that is wrong, right? We say that uh, the the black is uh, losing easily, uh, losing because white can just win. But here, white play this knight take f7. In this case, it's different. Uh. This is different. This is like a uh, reputable. Uh. This is a uh, reputable. Uh, what we call? Not reputable. I mean that this is one of the opening that that the one of the opening lah uh, that analyze. Knight f7, okay. King take f7, and then you have d4. Okay, the difference between this and b and what we call uh, and the game, the Ayman and Aisha game before is that in this game, white is better developed. In Aisha game before, it's different. Black is not really well developed. Here, white is the one who uh, sacrificed the knight. But if you look here, you can see the what we call this thing is open. This thing is easy to open, and then the, the the queen is also easy to move, and this king also can easily what we call easily uh, uh, castle. So we can see even though you sacrifice a knight for a pawn, we can see that the white have this the initiative in term of speed. Compare this with the Aisha and Ayman game before, it's different. Aisha as a black doesn't have what we call initiative, meaning that its position is not fully developed. Here is different. Okay, so d4. Okay, and then if let's say now let me let me remove the arrow first. Let me remove the arrow. Okay, so let me remove the arrow first. Uh, okay. So here, so maybe uh, if you look here, the, the, the common way to continue for black is just play bishop, uh, e, uh, bishop e6, bishop d3, bishop e7, 0, 0, root f8, and then f4, and then go to f8. So black is doing something that we will call the artificial castling. Okay, so if you look here, the what we call the white, the, the black is already... Uh, the white is already uh, a piece down, right? Uh, a piece for the pound. The knight, you give the knight for free. But the the composition is that white have this full good center here. So white 
idea is that to use this center to sort of like go forward and uh, uh, sort of like create some uh, initiative lah so even though white is uh, uh, a piece down a piece for a pound down but we can say with the center like this uh, there are some compensation for white okay so so that's the idea for this Cochrane Gambit lah but if let's say here uh, white take and then do like this and then now uh, as let's say now uh, the what we call the the black thing that this is sort of like uh, free this pawn is free right it seems like free so if let's say black is greedy and take this pawn and then you get something like what we see from Aisha and Ayman game before you have this queen h5 and win like before lah that's why if you understand if you know a little bit about opening because this opening this Cochrane Gambit is typical and if you look Ayman and Aisha game before that is not a typical opening but at least you can see there are some similarity here so knowing about the opening somehow you can get the you can use the idea for example this check here you can see also in the Aisha game before and then if you go go back here go check here and then you can get you can ni lah you can uh, even checkmate the what you call the, the the queen or the king or the uh, g8 lah uh, if let's say uh, the the king goes to sort of like king goes to the f6 and then you have this queen h8 and then not only you lost the knight you sort of like lost your queen there so that's one thing uh, if you go to uh, for example Okay, if you go to king e7, then you get queen e2. You get back the knight because if the knight, if you, because you pin the knight uh, to the queen, to the king. So if let's say you have this and then you get this thing lah. So you get back the knight again with the center. So if you sort of like, if you check and then the opponent play g6 and then again as before, you have this uh, diagonal thing. And then bishop e7, you get the knight again. Uh, you, you you get the knight back lah so this is the idea in Cochrane Gambit you can see also how this similar to the Aisha game before so understanding to knowing some opening uh, basic track in the opening can sort of like help you uh, a little bit lah a little bit uh, uh, in this thing okay okay so we see uh, this is typical uh, blunder eh uh, so i think uh for the final thing uh, for the final thing uh, i think i want to do something else but i think it's okay uh one more thing uh, about initiative uh, about initiative uh if you look here the game cochrane gambit play this thing all about initiative speed and so on let's see a little bit about some game um, uh that initiative is important uh. this uh some relationship with the blunder lah Okay, so we see this game uh, Suman, uh, not Suman, Subramaniam and Khalid. Eh? Subramaniam and Khalid in uh, Masum Close 2021. Eh? So I just want to show you this game. This game show you how not to play when you are getting extra, when you are only winning some piece, how not to play. Because sometimes when you play, you win some piece, you get carried away you are sort of like thinking that the game is uh, already winning by itself when you win something in the game normally by winning that piece by winning that opponent piece your so your piece normally disorganized so you need normally to reorganize back your game uh, your, your piece back so this uh, uh, example of the game where uh, where a player win a piece but then they are carried away carried away along the way lah so allowing the opponent to uh, launch the mating attack so we see this uh, Subramaniam uh, and Sreyas and Khalid so this you play like this we don't go to the opening okay so this thing uh, f5 okay so the idea of f5 here is that if you take here then the bishop here is unleashed eh? this bishop uh, on the b7 is unleashed okay so uh, you play like this and then in the game uh, uh, white play this thing this is a mistake lah okay this is a mistake because it's allow this 
to take allow uh, Khalid to take always when uh, your opponent give for something for free you need to think first before you take this before you take this for free because this is for free yeah you need to calculate what is the your opponent idea okay in this thing one of the opponent idea is to go to h5 so you need to calculate this first you need to calculate this first whether is there any checkmate there if there is no checkmate then it's okay okay so uh, when you calculate then you see that the king here the king can always go here when king goes here is quite safe because this pawn the pawn is still there the pawn is still there the pawn is still there so the rook cannot go and attack the king there so the position is quite safe on the f8 so that's why by just looking at that uh, quickly you can sort of saying that this taking on the f5 is a blunder because you can take this for free and any check on the h5 by white doesn't uh, yield any winning attack lah so in the game take like that and then check okay king f8 so now it's safe and in fact here now you not only you get a pawn for free now you get this uh, the rook for free also so by right now uh, Khalid which, you, which our player uh, is already winning lah but uh, the problem he got carried away eh? so for example now uh, white play this thing uh, knight uh, g4 so ask yourself what is the idea for white so the white maybe want to go here but yeah it's easy so white want to go here but if you go here then white the idea for white is to go here and checkmate here lah but of course uh, this uh, the queen here can just simply go here so nothing nothing what we call nothing uh, dangerous so you can just take for free okay and e5 so now white want to checkmate on this uh, f7 so as we said before the queen can just uh, challenge the queen and that's it so now white have this thing check like that but it doesn't really have anything because you can just take you can just take remember even though you give the uh, rook for free remember you only take the knight you only also take the rook here you only take the rook here you only take the knight here so you are basically a piece up so it doesn't really matter so still uh, uh, black is winning here okay and then now now the now uh, queen take the rook and then take like this okay this is quite start dubious huh? it's not losing yet but it's dubious because when you take here now you have an option whether you want to take here or you want to take with this pound you need to look when you want to take a pound when you want you, when you are in dilemma which pound to take this pound or this pound you need to ask what is the consequence of taking with either pound if you take this pound you somehow opening this diagonal and this this and white still have this uh, what we call this uh, bishop if the bishop goes here then it's dangerous eh? because this pawn this this pawn for time being this pawn uh, is protected by this uh, bishop here eh? the, this bishop is protecting this pawn if let's say for example the bishop goes here at least this you can do like this at least you can do like this because now uh, if you take here you can take that there's this knight cannot uh, what we call cannot take back because of the open check so yeah that's the thing lah so taking this thing is not losing yet it's still not losing but it's, it's start showing that something not right happened something uh, because the bishop can always go here okay the better is to take with this thing so when you want to take capture with the pound always think the consequence or what's the thing okay because this this knight is the only thing that cover the the queen uh, the, the king so you don't want uh, to give white the 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 path the passage to attack that knight by taking this thing you sort of like giving the passage for knight to be attacked lah okay so now uh, the game play like this zero zero okay in this position still okay still drawish still okay yet but now you see the difference now the knight can take here 
can already take here now because there are no open check in the game in the game uh, black play bishop f3 still okay still not a blunder yet still but the position now is already uh, equal lah. it's not winning because you have this thing the best way is just take this knight take this knight first okay take this because this knight is dangerous because with this knight then uh, this pawn move is not really uh, strong lah. okay so in the position uh, black play bishop f3 and then now start bishop c4 and now you can see the danger of this diagonal lah, the diagonal so the only way to sort of like uh, not the only way now is this uh, this is the thing lah. but now because this knight there are no check here you can just take like this okay so it seems dangerous here it seems very dangerous because you have a checkmate and so on but uh, here uh, white uh, black have this thing black have this uh, queen f7 this is a difficult move to find eh? because uh, if you look here you uh, you putting the queen along this uh, bishop diagonal okay normally people don't do this because this is the only move the only move to sort of a draw this case is not black is not winning anymore here black is still winning here black is still winning by just taking here lah just taking the, the dangerous knight and then you you can okay lah uh, yeah this okay because if you take here then you can just uh, sort of like uh, do like this i mean at least you 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 can have this thing although you have this you can take this you at least you block this you block this thing and if you count you have one two three piece you have this one two three and if you count black have one two three also uh, this is not really yeah but still okay lah still okay to play lah uh, so that's why here but in the game you take this and then you have this check and then uh, uh, not check I mean that you want to check mat and uh, not check mat mean that you want to take the knight so the best way is just to play this lah okay and if you play this and then this is the difficult move to find and then uh, you have this thing and then you just what we call just take lah just take and then you have this thing and then you take this thing so now you are ha playing three piece against knight you have this uh, what we call uh, bishop 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 uh, versus the queen lah versus the queen normally in this case uh, black this is uh, good for black lah but because uh, the queen have a uh, white also have extra pawn then uh, we can say it's more like draw wish but black is the one who have this extra uh, uh, winning potential lah because you need to move this thing first and then this is hanging and so on so even though you have a queen in this case three piece against the queen three piece normally better lah we can say here black is uh, yeah, close to winning lah close to winning here even though there are no queen but uh, close to winning okay uh, in the game in the game instead of playing d4 in, instead of playing d4 like this what black play is that uh, uh, black play uh, this thing black play take like this okay bishop take d5 and allowing this checkmate lah check and then this I think uh, Khalid forget this thing they are they are bishop check there and allowing this checkmate on the uh, what we call d5 the five dear and then you get this check mat okay so that's danger about the initiative lah so when you want to take something uh, always calculate eh? always calculate very well and think, think okay the last thing uh, i want to show you how to find the pattern eh? how to find the pattern from your game so let's see uh just i just i just close this thing first wait eh? i need to close uh, no uh, let me just go here let me close this no let me close this first no uh, let me close this first no and the last thing i want to show is that uh, i want to see uh, about how to find the pattern in your game so this is the game from your, your league eh? this is the game from your league the game uh, 140 i think 140 let me numbers so 
up until now they are 145 games uh, this i'm not updated yet uh, with the recent game uh, but at least for now let's see how to find the pattern from your game so let me go to players uh, let me go and see maybe fadilah maybe fadilah game okay so you can see fadilah game so i want to see the pattern in fadilah game eh? in fadilah game so just go uh, very quickly uh, we we want to see the pattern uh, in fadilah game so let me uh, sort by numbers so meaning that this is the earliest game that fadilah plays uh, in the league until 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 15 10 eh? so we see the pattern i eh? just to show you how when you have a game you want to find the pattern of your uh, game lah of your own eh? so uh, as i can see fadilah have this what we call uh, some problem with the queen and the knight eh? so if i click here if i click here if i click here uh, let me go here so uh if you go here if you go here and uh, let me open this thing first eh? uh, let me open link here and let me go here first okay so make it easy eh? so if you look here so i will not go to uh, detail i just go just to see the pattern eh? just to look the pattern blah 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 okay so here like this check and then here so this basically you uh fadilah uh, izah play what we call uh, and take d5 you just give a free knight eh? because this you can just take lah you just take like that you just take and then you just free knight lah but in the game uh, Fadilah play c6 c6 okay the c6 so allowing the white just take like that so you can see now uh, in this game Fadilah is black so yes uh, white is checking now so Fadilah block and you take this thing so one of problem with the Fadilah game is that uh, the, pro the the knight and the queen the, the handling of the knight and the queen is a little bit problematic so if you look here this knight you can see there are one protector and the attacker you have one two three this cannot lah because this is a pin so at least you have two attacker to attack this knight and the one only one defender for that so for sure you can take for free lah so that's free knight so that's one thing eh that's one thing okay let's go to the second game uh fadilah game eh? so that so you can see the knight problem eh so let's see the the second game fadilah and uh, faiz sekri okay so you can see i don't want to go to this uh, opening so let's go straight to this thing uh, this is more like the queen eh? so you take like that so fadilah is white so the queen take on the b7 so this is the case of uh, what we call this uh, poison pound because now the queen is sort of like uh, sort of like what we call a block uh, uh, what we call this trap because now you have this check on this uh, what we call this uh, c2 so queen uh, so now here queen b5 queen b5 and then you give a check so you see that the problem with the knight and the queen okay so you have the queen the queen goes here this is case of poison pound eh? you take and but, but you give you get the pound but you give sort of like uh, initiative for black so you have this and then the queen run away you Queen run away and then you get this uh, check. So Fadilah, Knight Fox. So Knight and Queen, eh? Knight Queen. So let's go next game. Fadilah and what we call Fadilah and Irshadi. So we go straight to here. Eh? We go straight to here. Uh, take and then C two. Uh, so Bishop G four. Uh, this is so this uh, Fadilah is uh, what we call Fadilah is white. So Queen. Uh, Ishadi take uh, but here uh, bishop b2 and then queen take e2 so here uh, Ishadi uh, Farilah play what we call root e1 uh, and then Ishadi play and b4 okay and b4 so here uh, uh, what we call this thing okay Farilah uh, as white if you know how to use the queen you can just play this and win eh? because you have checkmate here it's always queen and knight your game is always queen and knight you only get the queen trap you already 
get the Ishadi Queen trap but now you are uh, you are just uh, you you forgetting that this is much easier okay so again Mio Fadilah Queen and Knight again eh? so this is here so Fadilah have fork problem so you get this uh, somehow you get fork again that so that is fork free fork so you get this uh, bishop uh, d6 and then you fork so that is another problem fork problem again uh, related to knight uh, knight and queen lah so let's see Fadilah and Siti Sara so now Fadilah and Siti Sara ok so this is uh, Fadilah and Siti Sara game so if you look here until here 0 0 ok so Fadilah is white so we see the problem of white eh? so castle and then you have this thing so Fadilah play N H 4 this allow fork again and no this is basically this lah Siti Sara play this thing Siti Sara play this thing but you can just win by this fork so Fadilah you have knight problem queen problem and fork problem fork with the pawn problem so you fork like that because when you move this thing knight so you see the, the, the root of the problem is the knight knight go there and then because the knight go there then this pawn is become uh, weaker lah knight go there the pawn is become weaker then you can fork lah so fork problem ok so knight queen and fork problem so um, uh, so let's see Umihani and Fadilah game so this is Umihani and Fadilah game so same also so you have this 0 0 uh, so you see this problem Fadilah is uh, what we call is black so we see now uh, Fadilah play 0 0 ok so now uh, you get this bishop g5 and then you are skewering this thing this uh, what we call this uh, this thing lah uh, this, this what we call this uh, rook so queen problem so again here is queen problem so Fadilah this is queen problem eh? this queen problem so again Fadilah Aisyah we are nearing the end <coughs> So this uh, Fadila and Aisha also the queen and knight problem. So if we see here blah 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 blah, okay, blah 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 here blah. Okay, so a three. So Fadila is white here. So Fadila play this thing. Eh? Fadila play a uh, what we call a a three, and then uh, Aisha play and d four, and then queen g three, queen g three, <coughs> and then you get this lah. You get this. Fork, uh, you get this fork here. Okay, so almost all. Okay, I will, I don't want to go uh, all lah uh, because it will take time. So let's go back here. So if you look here, Fadilah game is always about the fork and queen. The either knight fork, either the pawn fork, pawn fork because of the knight move away, or the queen. So we can see that uh, from this when you have all the data when you have all the games you can sort of like uh, get the idea uh, what is your mistake the pattern so when you know the pattern for example Fadilah your pattern uh, normally the problem is because of your queen and knight so you can sort of like now try to be careful when you want to move the queen or knight try to uh, take extra caution for that so that's the reason why uh, we do this. Uh, I ask you to put all the games in the list so that you can uh, compile it and see the game. And if I go and see all the game here, Fadila game is all the same. It's always either knight or queen problem. Knight or queen problem or the fork. Uh, and more or less uh, some fork lah. That also because of the knight move. Okay so that's uh, how you sort of like finding the pattern in your game lah uh, you can sort of like know what is the recurring blunder that you do so i think uh, that is uh, that's it for today uh, I, I i cannot do more uh, because it's already 11 um, but uh, for time being so that is the uh, the lesson that we learn uh, in this uh, session is about blunder eh? because you are playing 15 minutes plus 5 most problem is because of the blunder try to find the pattern in your game as what I did for the Fadilah lah. you can find your own game lah because all your games in the list so you can try to find what is the common thing 
as you can see before for far east you can see that uh you can see what we call you can see he always get this great gift for safidin he always get this what we call this uh opening uh fork in the opening so finding the pattern in your game allow you to uh to know what to do to know what to do if your opponent do this thing and so on but to find the pattern it takes time lah meaning that you need to look at all your game and find the thing but once you get that thing it must be easier lah you know what is your mistake and so on okay um, so I think that's it for today um, so let's see here uh, so this is our last session our last session for uh, what we call for training for Masum Open 2021 there are no more session uh, coaching session after this uh, except for Friday next week maybe we do only uh, half an hour only we have just like a quick uh, final say uh, I will invite uh, brother brother Lutfi so this thing the one that I show uh, this thing so the the schedule here so this thing so Friday here uh, we are wrapping up uh, maybe I will do it very fast uh, maybe 3 to 4 maybe 3 3 to 3 30 like that just quick uh, and then during this time I want everybody open the camera lah because this is the last time we met and before your game so hopefully on Wednesday night you have this what we call the game with the uh, uh, sekolah taman uh, taman apalah whatever see taman university here so make sure you play well and make sure you finish your game lah before Friday Make sure you finish all the game before Friday so that I can create the leaderboard. Okay. If you finish after Friday, then I cannot show you the leak result. And also, if you finish after Friday, then uh, the top three will not get uh, a prize. Lah. I mean, I will not give the prize lah because as I said before, I only give the prize if, let's say, this leak result is available on Friday. So please make sure you finish all the game uh, here. And I think uh, that's it uh, for now. Uh, for any final say, I will ask uh, on the Friday. Lah. On the Friday, what happened is that it's like the first briefing. Uh, I will start with uh, asking uh, Sport Complex to give some uh, briefing. And then followed by team manager. And then followed by team captain. And then every one of you say something. Lah. Every one of you say something. And then if let's say they are uh, all your game is finished, I can present the final league result. So please, uh, if you want to see that before your Masum 2020, please finish all the game before Friday. Before Friday, mean that you finish everything on the the what we call the league, but but by by schedule will end by uh, this thing by by Wednesday. So you have one free day here. So you try to finish everything lah before Friday. Okay. So that I can uh, give the rating. So I think that that's it for now. Uh, if there is any question, uh, you can WhatsApp me. Uh, but for now, uh, I don't want to prolong anymore. I said one, uh, one hour, but <laughs> still two hours. So I think that's it. Uh, we end our session with recitation of uh, Tasbih Kafarah and Suratul As.